What's up guys, welcome back to Code Wizard, and today we're going to be going over the command line basics. These are foundational uh, command line skills that you'll need to know if you want to get into web development or software engineering. So first of all, we're going to go over real quick on what the command line actually is. If you're on a Mac, you're probably familiar with the Finder application. Um, so here I have Finder open and I'm in my documents folder. and the Finder is simply a graphical user interface or a GUI that allows you to interact with various folders and files on your computer. So you can see I have the Documents folder open and I can navigate into uh, the Project folder and I have two files that I can delete, I can rename them. These are all things that you can do in the graphical user interface but you can also do in the command line okay so we're gonna actually do some of the things I just mentioned in the command line which is gonna give you a starting uh, point really a foundational knowledge in order to progress and get better at the command line okay so when you open up the command line and by the way to open up the uh, command line on Mac it's also called the terminal um, I use an application called iTerm2. You don't have to use this, it's completely optional, but uh, every Mac will have a, the terminal application. And to find it, all you have to do is click on the Finder, go to Applications, and scroll down, and you should be able to uh, see the terminal application here. Now, if you don't see it in Applications, you can always search it up here with the Spotlight search. Just type in Terminal, um, hit Enter, and it'll pop up for you, okay? So, but once you do have it open, yours will probably look a little different than mine. Um, I have some uh, color settings already set. You know, you can feel free to kind of fool around with the colors and fonts as, as you wish. Uh, yours will probably be white and small by default. So uh, if you want to fool around with those settings, all you have to do is go up to the settings uh, for the application. But getting right into it, uh, when you open up the terminal, you'll probably see like a tilde here, and there'll be nothing before the tilde. And what this is really saying is that you're currently uh, in your home directory. So the first command we're going to go over is called ls, all right, and that simply lists the content in a directory. And if you're not familiar with the term directory, it's simply a folder. Directory is a folder. So if I type in ls, you can see all the files in the current directory that I'm in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go over the next command, which is uh, cd, which is change directory. So you can see I have the documents folder here. And if I want to navigate into the documents folder, I can just simply type in cd and then type in documents. All right, I hit enter and now we're in the documents folder. Now remember I showed you I was in the documents folder back in Finder and we could see we have four folders here. We have other, we have YouTube, we have Zoom, and we have project. So if I type in ls, we can see the contents of the documents folder. So type in ls and there we go. We have other, project, YouTube, and Zoom. All right, so again, cd, ls, you're gonna be using these uh, very, very frequently when it comes to web development and software engineering, okay? So CD and LS. CD is change directory. LS is list the contents in the current directory that you're in. So let's say I want to go back one directory. All you have to do is type in CD and then two dots. Two dots represent going back. So CD, two dots, hit enter, and now we're back to where we started. Um, now if we want to go back to documents, CD, documents. All right, there we go. So now let's say you're not really sure where you are uh, as far as the directory that you're in. If you type in PWD, that stands for present working directory and hit enter. It'll actually show you the full path on how I got to this specific directory. So you can see users, my name, and then documents. All right. And that's where you're currently located. So that's present working directory. 
Now, if you want to just get rid of all this mess up above, you can actually just type in clear, and that will clear pretty much all of the past commands. You can still scroll up, but it will actually just clear the commands uh, in the current window. All right, just to make things a little bit cleaner before we move on here. So we know how to navigate now. We know how to navigate forward and backwards. We know how to list the contents of a directory. And the next thing we're gonna learn how to do is learn how to create stuff. So if I type in ls, we can see we have four folders in the documents folder. We have other, project, YouTube, and Zoom. So let's say we wanted to make a directory or make a folder. So to do that, the command is mkdir, which is short for make directory. All right, and then after you type in that, you wanna type in the name of the directory you wanna create. So we're gonna create a directory called test. You hit enter, and how do we know if that actually went through? So if you type in ls, you can see now we have other project, there's our test directory and YouTube and Zoom. All right, so it actually made that test directory. And by the way, if you type in some bogus command, like if I type in gibberish and hit enter, it'll say command not found. All right, so you know if you get this warning, if you will, um, that simply means that you know the command's not found, your command didn't do anything, okay? So typing in ls again, we can see we have our newly created directory called test. So let's go ahead and navigate into test now. So we'll type in cd test, and now you can see we're in the test directory. So let's say we wanna make a file, okay? So we know that make dir, or make directory, makes a directory, makes a folder. But let's say we wanted to make a file. So to make a file, you use a command called touch. So you type in touch, and then you type in the file you wanna make. We'll just say index.html and enter. And now if I type in ls, you can see my newly created file called index.html, all right? Now, let's say I want to delete that file, all right? We don't want that file anymore. What you can do is type in rm. rm stands for remove. So rm, and then type in the name of the file, index.html, hit enter, and then ls, and you can see that you know nothing was displayed when I type in ls because it deleted that file, okay? So let's go back one directory. We'll go back to documents, type in ls. We can see we still have the test directory. Let's say we wanted to remove that directory. So to remove the directory, the command is rmdir, remove directory, and then we type in test. All right, enter ls. Now you can see test has been deleted, okay? Now, let's say we want to rename a file. So if I cd into project, type in ls, you can see I have two files, index.css and index.html. And in fact, I'll type in clear just to get rid of most of this. All right, so we have index.css and index.html. Let's say I want to rename index.css to styles.css. So to do that, the command is mv, all right? And then you're gonna type in the original name of the file and then the updated version name, or if you will, of the file. Go ahead and enter, ls again, and you can see now it renamed the file from index.css to styles.css. So that's one way to rename the file, and you can also do the same thing with renaming directories. So those are the basic commands that you'll wanna know when it comes to learning the command line. So just to recap real quick, the commands are cd, change directory, ls, which is to list the contents of the directory, pwd's present working directory, to figure out what directory you're currently in, 
MKDR, short for make directory to make a directory. RMDR, short for remove directory to delete the directory. Touch creates a file. And then we have MV, which is to rename a file or actually move a file to a different location. So those are the essential uh, commands that you'll want to know. And you'll use them so often that you actually will have those memorized. So if it seemed like a lot and it seemed like a lot of things to memorize and it doesn't seem like a fast way to interact with, the, with files, uh, don't worry. You will have these memorized before you know it and you'll be using the command line more often and it will become more efficient for you. So thank you for watching. If you have a comment uh, or if you have a question, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.